registered practical nurse um, typically takes care of patients with predictable outcomes. So we provide a full head to toe assessment. Based on these assessments, we develop uh, care plans. Administering medications, whether that's by mouth, by injection, topical. We're involved in case management conferences. We also uh, advocate for the client. You are the vessel of communication between that patient and their family and the doctors. From high school, you would definitely focus in on your sciences, math, English and communication again, because you need to know how to communicate. From there, it would be a two-year college diploma program that you take. They were offering uh, practical nursing with Aboriginal communities here at Six Nations Polytech. With the program at Six Nations Polytech, it was more of a holistic view on healthcare. For me, it, it showed me a lot of opportunities. You know, you can go to pediatric, mental health, you can work in schools, prisons, you can take an administration role, uh, you can do research as well. I really took away from the nursing program that it wasn't just about science. You have to have compassion and empathy and caring and you also need to have good critical thinking skills. It could be fast-paced environment, you might be on your feet all day. You also need to have a lot of patience as well. To me, culture is, it plays into everything. It's your morals, it's your principles, it's kind of who you are. Returning to my community to work, um, I definitely do feel a greater sense of connection with my heritage. I treat my clients as if, you know, they're my grandparents, they're my aunts or uncles. So we are um, medical professionals, but we're also human. With the aging population and the retiring baby boomers, there's a whole capacity that needs to be filled. Definitely, there will be jobs out there. I find nursing really rewarding. That's what gets me up every morning. <laughs>